Uh, hoi hoi folks, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever on the world. My name's Sean aka Uncle Frogface and welcome to today's video. If you're new here then welcome, if you're not new then welcome back and apologies, I have Tinkerbell in the office with me today. Um, it is snowing outside and it's very cold in North Wales so Tinkerbell is in here trying to steal all of my heat but not wanting to be held as she usually does. So she's probably going to walk back and forward in the frame. Not on there please Tinkerbell, thank you very much. She's walking over what we're going to be doing today. So we are doing the 642 things to draw book. So I had a quick flick through, opened the book and I've landed on the page so I've selected something we're going to do today. Uh, so we can turn the camera around and get stuck into it. But whilst we are sketching today's thing I also have lots of announcements and news and stuff as well so make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to be going through quite a lot today. Uh, but yeah let's turn the camera around and I will show you what I have chosen. So, fair warning, Tinkerbell is probably going to walk across here at some point. She's sitting right here at the moment, looking intently at the book. So this book, 642 Things to Draw, we've gone through and done a few of these, but basically there are 642 prompts in here. You can see some of the things that we've drawn already. There's a Christmas tree. We land anything else. Oh yeah, there's a beetle as well down there. So the thing that I have selected today from randomly skipping through is something on these pages. So this is where I opened up to and I thought, like, you know what? I want to draw a jellyfish. I don't think, apart from painting jellyfish with my own hair, another video, go and check it out. Um, that was quite a while ago. Um, apart from that, I don't think I've really sketched jellyfish so I thought it'd be a nice chance to have a bit of a play and, and see what we come up with so I only use uh, pencils in here just plain old graphite so I'm gonna select something from here I have a lot of pencils I think that is mainly pencils but yeah I'll get something from here and we'll sketch through and we'll have a little bit of a chat as we go and I'll catch up with you at the end for a little bit of a, a breakdown let's get started so I am actually not speeding this up at all. So you're gonna see me drawing this in real time for a change. Um, and I said before I work quickly and this I guess is an example of that. I think this whole drawing is 13 minutes long. Um, yeah, it's it's quick. Um, I had a little bit of reference up as well, just some uh, some images from old BBC documentaries of uh, sea life and there were a couple of jellyfish in there so I kind of had a little bit of inspiration. Always important to have some reference at least while you're doing a drawing. Um, so I decided to go for a kind of more of a sketchy almost like semi-tattoo design for this. I'm thinking about ribbons and scrolls and how they're done in tattoos and that really was my inspiration for the the bottom part of the jellyfish at least. Jellyfish are weird they're basically like mushrooms on top and then like dirty washing and just bits of string at the bottom. That's how I kind of think about it anyway. Um, our brains work in weird and mysterious ways, don't they? But anyway, I said that I had a few things to talk about and I absolutely do. So the sponsor of today's video is um, me. Uh, so <laughs> I have just opened a second Etsy shop. Uh, not only that, I've been doing some work on the first Etsy shop. So let's talk about the first Etsy shop first. So that's Uncle Frogface Studio on Etsy. That is where you can buy original artwork from me. And now you can also buy original artwork in print form. So I have quite a few images over there of artwork, some of which I've created on stream or on videos. Some has been created in my own time. Uh, but yes, they are now available as print. So please do go and check those out. I will leave a link for uh, for both shops, actually, in the comments section in, in the uh, in the description down below. So make sure you go and check those out. I really, really do appreciate it. Anything you buy from there goes to directly supporting me and the channel um, and kind of as an independent trader and artist. So um, your support is very, very, very much welcome. So go and pick up a gift for yourself or for someone else. 
So that's the first shop, and that's a, a big new thing that I've spent a lot of time uh, researching and investing in, so I'm very excited about that. The second shop, so as some of you might know, uh, as well as being a kind of traditional 2D artist in terms of painting and drawing and sometimes sculpting, I have worked as a prop maker as well uh, in theatre and, and other areas, usually when I was out of work as an actor a very long time ago. Uh, but one thing I really enjoy doing is woodwork, and it's something that I've rediscovered over the last few months, really, as something that I really enjoy just getting lost in and this was mainly prompted I think from Kuliao and the uh, the customizer from them and getting back into not just using it on polymer clay and, and other clay materials but actually using it on wood and doing some proper honest to god carpentry and woodwork. One thing I did is I've uh, I I'm now an affiliate with Axminster Tools and I have a lovely Axminster lathe uh, in my garage which is slowly becoming my workshop um, and I've been teaching myself how to turn wood again which is something I haven't done in probably 25 years um, and I've really enjoyed it so I, I made my niece uh, Leah who I mentioned many times on this channel uh, she's the whole reason we are called Uncle Frogface um, yeah, I made her a wand for Christmas because she is a massive Harry Potter fan. Thanks to Andrew and I, we, um, we're both fans of the books and we bought her the illustrated versions of the books and we've been buying them each year as they come out, although there hasn't been one for a couple of years, which has been frustrating. But she's become such a big fan um, that I thought she deserved her own wand. So I, I designed and made a wand for her on my lathe. And then, obviously, we made the Tooth Fairy wand uh, as a prop, and then we did the the Gorilla wand, uh, which was a kind of combination with the Gorilla art doll that I made just before Christmas for uh, that collaboration with Terran and lots of other wonderful artists and sculptors. And I've really got into making wands, and I've made some some lovely wand maker friends. So, I can now announce that Twisted Fairies Wands is now open and trading on Etsy. So, there's just over half a dozen wands on there at the moment. Each one designed and made by me. Uh, even the wax polish that I use on them has been handmade by myself. So, they are designed as props, but I am actually a practicing pagan as well. I've been a, a practicing pagan for... 25 years ish um so they are meant as actual practical tools or collector's items or cosplay or whatever you want to use them for but do go and check that out as well so that is twisted fairies wands on etsy and i'll leave a link for that down below as well but yeah i've been having a lot of fun with that in fact, so much fun that I have been in talks with Kuliao about uh, doing, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to be doing more videos anyway because I love the customizer and there's other things of theirs that I want to want to try out and, and review. Um, but I do want to do a wand video using the customizer just to show what kind of fine detail you can get with that. So let's think about Hello Tinkerbell, that little jingle is the, the bell on Tinkerbell's necklace. So she's now on my windowsill, windowsill staring outside at the snow which has just started to pick up into a bit of a blizzard. I'll leave a little video of that at the end so you can see what I mean. One thing I haven't quite got used to in, in North Wales is the weather because it can be glorious sunshine in the morning and then a, a blizzard in the afternoon. It, it's really, really bizarre. It's not London weather at all. Anyway, let's get back to uh, the jellyfish now that I've kind of gone through all of those things. Um, and yeah, we are making good progress here and I think it's coming along rather nicely. So for those of you that ask, because I know some of you will be asking, uh, I'm using a Faber-Castell grip pencil. That's Tinkerbell knocking things over in the office now, sniffing all the props. Come away Tinkerbell, come on. Uh, so yeah, the Faber-Castell grip 
2001, it is a 2B pencil, uh, and then I'm just about to grab, this is a Stedler Mars Lumograph, it is a 5B pencil, uh, and then towards the end, I'm going to be using the uh, Pentel, which Pentel am I using? Let me find out, I've got it here somewhere, uh, it is the Pentel Orens, uh, which is a, a really, really nice mechanical pencil. So yeah, the channel going forward, as some of you know already, um, I've added gaming to the channel. So Tuesdays we're having art videos, Fridays we are having gaming videos, and Scrawlerbox will happen whenever Scrawlerbox ar arrives. If it happens on a Friday, then I'll push back that video. If it happens on a Tuesday, I'll push back that video. Um, but some weeks you will get three videos rather than just the two. But currently we are playing um, Passable to the Starving Artist, which I'm having a lot of fun with. I've got a lot of content already filmed. Um, I need to go and film the rest of it. Go and check that out. There is a playlist on the channel. Um, and try and give me some tips if you can if you played this game already uh it's it, there's some frustration with it but there's a lot of fun with it as well so it's uh you get to see a different side of me when i'm i'm playing games and maybe getting a little bit more stressed than i need to or should be but i'm really really having fun with that so do go and check that out as well i'm going to be in the future doing some challenges with the game so um, I've talked about it a little bit on the channel, but I want your guys' input as well. So I've suggested potentially doing it using a limited palette or doing it doing um, master studies like I do with the miniature master studies, but doing them digitally uh, or doing a particular art style. But I really would like your input. So make sure you go over to those videos, check them out, leave a comment down below on those videos. Tell me what challenges you'd like me to do in the future. Um, and I will get some of those done. But honestly, right now, I'm just super busy all the time and I'm absolutely loving it. I actually, on Sunday, so that's yesterday, uh, not yesterday, uh, two days ago, I, I had a day off. I actually had a day off, a day to do absolutely nothing. Um, so I, I ended up going to the gym and then Andrew and I watched movies and I did a bit of reading and just kind of watched YouTube and, and other bits and bobs. Not really doing anything. I didn't draw, I didn't do any woodwork, I didn't even do any housework that day. I really had a lazy day. And by the end of it, I had a massive headache from not doing anything. My brain is constantly working which means I have to be doing something all the time which people say to me how do you manage to fit everything in I don't sleep and if I don't do it my my brain is just gives me headaches um so yeah I'm I'm loving 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 being so busy at the moment and uh, and just doing lots of projects I am actually about to be starting a another project which is outside of YouTube um, I'm going back to doing a bit of theatre work, so not as an actor. Uh, I did a bit of acting last year and thoroughly enjoyed it and might go back to it again at some point. But no, I am going back into a theatre project as a prop maker, set maker and costumer. Um, so that's going to be lots and lots of fun and I will give you more details about that as they come forward. But this is a big, big spectacle uh, in the north of England, um, particularly Chester. And if you're around the area, you might know what I'm talking about already. But I might give you some sneak peeks or at least some behind the scenes of what is happening with that project, as long as I get the go ahead from the event organisers. But we are coming to the end of this jellyfish so it's just a few more small details here we've got these fine tendrils and then we'll nearly be done so i'm going to leave you in peace that was a lot of talking from me uh, i hope it wasn't too much and some people say they like my voice uh, but yeah we're, we're nearly there i'll let you enjoy these last few little bits and i'll catch up with you in just a moment
Well, there we have it. That was actually very quick. I'm not sure how well you're gonna see it there, but I'll leave a nice picture of it at the end. But yeah, that is everything for today's video. As I said, I really hope you check out both of the stores. So either pick yourself up a wand or to pick yourself up an art print or an original piece of art, if that's what you want as well. As always, until next time, from myself and Tinkerbell, who's still stealing warp from me in the snow. Goodbye. Just so you know, I wasn't exaggerating. This is currently the view outside of my window, and this is set to be going all evening. We had a tiny pit last night, wow. Yeah, I think we might get snowed in.